Hmm. Which which one could I review next? I know. How about the Wacky Adventures of Ronald McDonald from 1998? Yeah, let's do that one. Cue the intro, please. Hello guys, my name is Jonathan's Media Corner here, and today I am here. I am here to do a review on the Wacky Adventures of Ronald McDonald from 1998. You know, a show that was made by from Klasky Kusapo, and McDonald's used to have those VHS tapes of the Wacky Adventures of Ronald McDonald, like. For for an example, they have they they used to have Scared Silly, The Legend of Grimace Island, The Visitors from Outer Space, Birthday World, Have Time Will Travel, and Have Time Will Travel. Yeah, but guys, what do I think about it? Honestly, this show was a huge part of my childhood. Yeah, this show was a huge part of my childhood. I wanna now let's talk about the episodes, shall we? We got in Scared Silly, Ronald and his friends go on a camping trip in a far flung forest where Ronald discovers an old house and he assumes it, it is haunted by a ghost called the Far Flung Phantom, and the campers are forced to stay in the old house due to the stormy weather. For a holographic head named Franklin leads them through a challenging game which will eventually help them to escape. Which I thought that was that was a that was a good episode. And in the legend of I and in the legend of Grimace Island, Ronald and the gang go out on a journey to Grimace Island, where Grimace's species are discovered. And Grimace previously received a letter which was actually written by the pirate captain. One eyed Sally and her first mate Bladder. And then and in the visitors from outer space <clears throat> Hamburglar tricks the gang to believe that aliens have to come have come to Earth so that he can steal the McDonaldland hamburgers. And the gang loses their trust in him, which he was followed by the hamburger being captured by actual aliens. And Ronald and his friends go on a mission to rescue him, even though they were pretty angry at his pranks. Oh, this is my personal favorite episode, Birthday World. In this one, it is Ronald's birthday and Hamburglar is pretty upset that he didn't get Ronald a birthday present until an evil scientist named Professor Hathadius J. Pinchworm gives him tickets to a fake amusement park called Birthday World. And they turn into like babies and they long no longer fall for the rides. Poor designs and construction. And like I said, and after when they ride this, they it turns into babies. That's that's one of my personal favorites. Half time will travel. Ronald and his pals stumble across a time machine while helping Franklin clean up his father's lab. 
Hamburg who dreams up a crazy sheen scheme to use the time machine to get out of the cleaning and they end up getting lost in time. Their travel adventures take them to prehistoric times where the time machine is nearly digested by the Tyrannosaurus and they meet their caveman ancestors, medieval times, where they impress the crabby monarch King Murray with a musical number to save the captured birdie. The wild wild west where they discovered Hamburger's ancestor Henry H. Burglar, who the residents mistake Hamburger for him, and the disco areas of the seminaries where they briefly encountered Mayo McCheese. And in the final episode, the monster of, of Ma McDonald Lodge, the gangs travel to a Scottish expedition known as Old McDonald and Scotch were Sunday's cousin Skylers, and they also come across a plot by mad scientist Sowers and his assistant Pip attempt to build a replica of not Lochness monster in order to make money from the discovery birdie. Bef birdie befriends a Lochness monster named Simon who wants to existence to be kept a secret. Whoops, sorry guys. And that's basically what the episode has, but this show is a huge part of my childhood. It really was. The animation, I could tell, the animation is just great, in my opinion. It's the same guy who did the, did Rugrats. Yeah, it's Klasky Kisapal produced it, and it was the same... It was the it was the same company that that made Rugrats and the Wild Thornberries and Rocket Power, and we got this: the Wacky Adventures of Ronald McDonald, which that's also a great childhood show of mine. The voice acting was is just spectacular, like wow. The voice acting just fits very perfectly for the, and all the VHS tapes that. That, that, that they, most of the VHS tapes of, of, of the episodes, they were really fun to watch. And it really had some funny moments. Like, what, by the time, like in, in Birthday World, when they turn into babies and that, that was pretty funny. And when they make jokes, like, all that stuff, it was a really great episode. And it, I even like Scared Silly as well, which was the first one. It was more like a... A hollow... It kind of reminds me of a Halloween episode, Scared Silly. And all episodes begin and end with a live-action sequence, which that's really cool. You get a live-action Ronald McDonald. And then he later turns into the cartoon version, which that's really cool. Yeah, you get a live action version. You, you get a we get a live action sequence to Ronald McDonald and his friends, which that's really cool. And then, yeah, plus I even like the theme song. The theme song, what is really cool, especially when Ronald McDonald was singing, that was pretty cool. The characters are really likable, and it, like, Ronald McDonald, Birdie, Grimace, Hamburglar. Most of the characters, they're really, they're really likable, and yeah, it's those characters that you, you see from your childhood, like Grimace, Birdie, Hamburger, they all, they all appear in this, in this show, and it really lives up to your childhood, and you remember them when you were kids, and you're like, wow, these, these characters are from this show. That's amazing. Amazing indeed. The animation is just really... Like, 
it's this, it's this, it has the same animation like Rugrats does. And not to mention it's from Klasky Kusapol that's also the creator of Rugrats and the Wild Thornberries and Rocket Power. Yeah, I, I personally enjoy, I really enjoyed this show. It, it was part of my childhood, has great characters, great episodes, funny moments, great theme song, the first and the second one. Everything I could say is just a wonderful childhood show of mine. So if you haven't seen this show, where have you been? You need to check the show out. The Wacky Adventures of Ronald McDonald. Yes, this is a great cartoon that I truly recommend. It is that great. So for my final rating for The Wacky Adventures of Ronald McDonald, I'm going to give this show a 7 out of 7. Outstanding show. And there you go. That was my... Review on the Wacky Adventures of Ronald McDonald. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. This is Jonathan's Media Corner here, signing off, and I'll see you guys later. And peace out, y'all.